hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Funi Oyelaki today I'm going to show you how I make this piece this beautiful piece of a headband ruffles we call it headband ruffles and it is something thready now in my last video I made tutorial on how to cut it it come in three pieces so if you've not watched it go to the description box I will link leave the link there where you can watch how to cut it but for today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to join those pieces that we cut in the previous class to make this head piece so this piece is very beautiful you see hmm. you can see how nice it is but me, I prefer to put my elastic at the side like this to make it look like a side edge rough. It's like you are having, don't mind my glasses. Mm, yeah. You can see how beautiful it is. So, do you like to make more of it and make money? Okay, let's go. So to sew the ruffles airband, it comes in three pieces. The three pieces are the elastic casing, the lining, and the major fabric that will create the ruffles effect. Now to join the elastic casing, you will have to put it on fold. When you put it on fold, then you give it a straight sewing that is you sew it on a straight line that is on a straight line you make it on a straight line then after you finish sewing on a straight line then you turn it inside out you can use a loop turner or you use screwdriver or any object that will make it easier for you to turn it inside out now that the elastic casing is ready we cut our elastic the measurement for this elastic is eight inches and you are using the one inch width elastic uh, one width that is the wideness of the elastic is one inch why we are using eight inches so you get safety pin and use it to insert the elastic into the elastic casing you already made. When you finish inserting, you secure it by sewing it at the edge on both sides. And this is the result you are having. So the elastic casing is ready. The next step is to join the big fabric together the one that will create the ruffles effect so you also sew it on a straight line on fold for you to get this measurement you need to watch the previous video where i made tutorial on how to cut the pieces that is being used here uh, once again i'll put the link in the description box Make sure you watch it so that you know a exact measurement you are working with. When you finish sewing the big fabric on the on a straight line, then you also turn it inside out using the previous uh, method. That is getting a screwdriver or whatever object that will make it easier for you to turn now we have it now on the right side now you may decide to give it a press you may decide to leave it i actually press it but now i'm using so the next one is to insert the lining with the same method this lining is what will give us the ruffles effect then you secure the first end with a, a pin then you take it to the machine and sew as well now you need to secure it both sides 
so that the ruffles effect will come out the purpose of securing it before you bring it out is because it will not get uh, loose now you can see it now that this ruffles is already coming out so you say it yeah. yeah becoming a pro in making a ruffles very nice very simple is a kind of project that uh, you can get done in a very short period of time and then when you finish it this is the way it's going to look at you can see how beautiful it is remember the measurement is very very crucial in making this now we want to attach the uh, elastic casing with the major fabric so here we're having where we're having the sewing that is in line that would be the wrong side where we don't have the sewing like this is where would be the right side so we place the right side of the elastic casing with the right side of the main ruffles itself then you cover it with the ruffles just like you have seen in the video then the next thing is to secure it with sewing machine. You are going to stitch it. You have to stitch very well so that it will not be removing. Then when you finish stitching the first side, you repeat the same thing at the other side. Like this again, you repeat the same step that you did in the previous uh side so you repeat the same thing that is the right side facing the right side so that when you turn it uh to the right side you will not be having it in opposite direction you secure it again yeah mm. nice okay so we use a machine to secure it again you do the knitting by cutting out whatever thread that is hanging around you turn it then yeah right the ruffles is now ready can you see it how beautiful it is this is the airband ruffles now ready to put on the yeah slay mama okay now if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe